So in today's video, I will be sharing with you some sewing patterns that I have made recently. And over the next couple of weeks, you'll get to see what these finished garments look like all made up. So the first one that I will be sharing or I want to talk about is Simplicity 8657. I made the dress, which is the shorter version, also called a caftan. And then I also made the top. Now with the dress I had to make an adjustment and with the top I didn't make an adjustment but I did have to do something to make it work so that I could actually wear it. Now the next sewing pattern that I made is Simplicity 1165. Now this is a remake because I made the shorts on this pattern and I made the shorts before and I actually messed up the hem because I used elastic that was stretchy but this time I decided I wanted to remake the shorts again and use the proper trim that didn't have an elasticated fabric in it and so that's what I did so you'll get to see how those shorts turned out now the next pattern is Simplicity 9903. This is a vintage pattern and I made the dress and I had to actually do something to make this garment wearable also. The next one is McCall 7688. This is just a pullover sweatshirt dress and I actually made a change to the dress after I wore it so I will show you what I did with that. Next. McCall 7788. I made the sleeveless jumpsuit and out of all of these makes, as much as I love jumpsuits, this is the only jumpsuit in this little collection, I guess you could call it. Next is Berta 6820. So this is a crop top and I made this out of all scrap fabric or leftover fabric. So you will get to see that, which is my scrap buster project. Next will be Vogue 8441. This is a vintage bodysuit. Now, I believe I made the one in the middle. And out of all of these makes, this one is my absolute favorite. And last, I made Simplicity 1018. And I made the short dress. And out of all of these, I would say this one has the most interesting fabric the print on the fabric is the most interesting it's not anything crazy but it's just the most interesting that's all i can say out of all of these so yes you will get to see that and before i go i want to leave you with a love share so something that i learned recently is that many libraries will rent out baking pans so say for an example if you want to make something one time and you don't want to really commit to having that pan all the time you can rent a pan and you can bake an item and then return the pan when you're done I did not know that and one example that comes to mind is like say for example if you want to make an Elmo shaped cake for somebody but you don't plan to make that cake again instead of having to go out and buy the pan or find the pan if you can't even find it if they have it at your local library you could just rent it out bake that cake give them their pan back and call it a day so libraries are more than books and other type of media so yes I wanted to share that that's it that's all and I will see you in the next one and thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.